What a golden fraud, people are saying. I just had to report on this story because I was watching this show for a time. Some of you may still be watching it. And to find this news out today, I will tell you, I was actually shocked, like so many of you, to find out that this guy, the golden bachelor, Gary Turner, is a fraud, that he lied. So let me tell you what happened. Welcome back, my view, my opinion, the MVMO podcast. I am your host, of course. Thank you for joining me for this special episode. So we let's start with what Gary told us, okay? Gary Turner told us that he was a widow, that he and his wife, Tony had been married for over 40 years, had a beautiful family. She got sick, you know, started having some ailments one month. Okay. And then about a month and a half to two months later, she, you know, he said, okay, it's time, Tony, for us to go to the hospital. She went to the hospital and she died. She died suddenly, unexpectedly rocked the whole family, tore him to shreds because they didn't think her illness was that serious, but she died. And then he said he had not dated anyone since her death. He also showed us, they took us on a, you know, partial tour of the, you know, beautiful home on the lake that he built, that he was supposed to live with, uh, you know, with his wife. He talked about this was her dream home. I'm living in this dream home alone. He even said, I haven't kissed anybody. I haven't dated. I haven't done anything since she died. This show is my fresh start. Well, today, y'all, Wednesday, November 29th, his ex-girlfriend came out to the media and said he's lying. He is lying. Okay, so this is what she showed proof of to the Hollywood reporter. They are withholding her name for now until ABC pays her girl to come out and tell it all. Okay, so she winds up saying that not only is Gary lying, she actually lived with him in the house that he was showing on TV. She says we dated. We started dating one month, just one month after his wife, Tony, died. We dated for three years, right up until the show. And I actually had to leave my hometown of Iowa and move in to the dream house with him because he wanted me to live with him. And she says, I cannot believe when I saw him on the show saying that he hadn't dated anyone, this he hadn't been, he hadn't kissed anybody. She was like, oh my God, he's a complete lie. And she also goes on to share with the Hollywood Reporter other information. I'll leave that for you to read. You can just Google Hollywood Reporter, Gary Turner, Golden Bachelor, it's all there. And (laughs) people are just floored by this. Now, fans of the franchise are saying a lot of things. They're first saying, why didn't they vet this guy more? But guys, I'm going to say this. What else could they do? I mean, it wasn't just Gary who was in on the lie. His adult children, remember, they were in on the lie too. They said to the, you know, in their little confessionals or camera time or whatever you want to call it, daddy hadn't dated nobody. I mean, they, they said they echoed exactly what he said. So it seems to me they were all in on it together. I mean, they can't give these people a lie detector test. I mean, I feel like the show did the best that they could to ensure that the first installment of The Golden Bachelor, a dating show that we've not, I mean, this iteration of The Bachelor series is something that hasn't been on TV ever, where there is a single guy in his 70s who wears hearing aids, (laughs) you know, all these things, you know. Um, who knows nothing about social media, all those things, or at least he said, girl, he probably is a social media expert. What's so crazy to me and what I thought was heartbreaking is this. You know, I was saying to you guys, she showed so much proof to the Hollywood reporter. One of the text messages that she showed them was the text he sent her just one month after his wife passed away. It's the very same line he told the women in the house. Okay. So the text was like, you're, I need you with my coffee in the morning. No, I can't go to bed with you at night. They play a clip of Gary saying this exact same thing to one of the women. So it's like, Gary is in his seventies. He's lying. He's, I'm I'm like, what? I told you guys from the giddy up that this show was going to be just as messy as the 20 year olds, because For some reason, this guy wanted to be on television so bad, he was willing to completely fabricate a part of his life. 
as if this woman who he lived with in the dream house that he was showing on television saying, I'm so sad, you know, I'm here by myself, you know, she died right after we built this. And it's like, he knew the whole time he was faking those tears that he had lived in that house for at least three years, or at least two of those three years with the woman who was his girlfriend. It is crazy, guys. This is crazy. This scandal is rocking this franchise. And people are calling on uh, these people at The Bachelor to talk about this. How they're going to handle this, uh, people are saying they don't know because the finale has already been filmed. It comes out tomorrow. Also, you know, they do the show with all of them together. A lot of people say that was already filmed, okay, earlier this week. So who knows, you know, maybe this girlfriend who came out to the Hollywood Reporter, maybe she had already talked to ABC and told them before she told the Hollywood Reporter. We don't know. But I'm going to say this, guys. I am not mad at the franchise. You know, I don't, some people are saying maybe they knew this and this was a part of, you know, the media blitz to get people to tune in to tomorrow. That's possible because, you know, this is an entertainment industry and people come up with all kinds of sneaky ways to get people to watch, to read, to purchase, to, to do all that. So it's very possible that they were aware of it. But this girlfriend is saying that no one reached out to her. That's what she's saying. And she's saying that Gary obviously didn't know just how big the Bachelor series was and that she would see this. And I'm like, well, I don't know why he wouldn't think that this would come out. Who knows, guys? But it's all coming out in the wash. And it wouldn't surprise me if there were a, there was another woman who comes to the surface and says, uh, yeah, and he was dating me too. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to make a dangerous assumption here. So I know it's dangerous. I know I am like really stretching it here, but this is just what my logic tells me. Okay. According to Gary, his wife did not have a long drawn out illness. You know, like some people, their spouse is ill for like years. I know uh, one, uh, one of my exes, his wife, his mother, excuse me, his mother was ill for, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, this was a long, long time ago. His father was ill for like 15 years before he died. And so his mom, you know, they they just didn't have a marriage anymore, right? Um, she was just his caretaker. And so I think like a year or so after, because this has been a million years ago, a year, a year or so after he died, the mom was engaged to somebody that actually was a family friend. You know, who knows if they were screwing around while, you know, you just never know. When people, when someone dies, when a spouse dies and then the, the other spouse, the living spouse starts dealing with, you know, having a relationship with one of the friends that was a friend of the couple, that's always a side eye because it's like, hmm, okay, were you guys screwing around when this person was living? And, and they would never tell the truth. They would always say no, of course, because that's what you're supposed to say. Um, but uh, so anywho, so my point in saying that is that when there is a long drawn out illness, very often a marriage deteriorates. So it's not unusual for shortly thereafter for the living spouse to start up a new relationship. But Gary said that wasn't his situation. So my dangerous assumption is it would make sense to me that if his wife died the way he said she did, like totally unexpectedly in a way that shocked and rocked the family, that just a month after she died, the last thing on his mind would be starting a relationship because, heck, he would still be in shock that she died. Unless Gary was always a philander, philanderer. And so it was just his normal way of doing to have a woman on the side. So that's my dangerous assumption. I just can't see a situation like that where you would even be in the headspace of trying to start up a relationship, especially texting people. I have to have you with my coffee. I have to have you at night. Gary is a F boy. Y'all is he's a 70. What is Gary? Like 72, 70, whatever, 70 plus year old F boy. That's what he is. And it's very sad because this is an embarrassment to him. It's an embarrassment to his adult children and how they're going to work this into these shows that are already been filmed or what have you. Only time will tell. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the scandal that's rocking the, the Golden Bachelor series. Gary Turner is a golden fraud. Leave your thoughts below and I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. I miss you, baby.